Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about the before and after concept with a math question example. Alright, so what's the before and after concept? Well, it's just a fancy name for something most of you already know. Here's an example. Imagine you have 5 delicious crispy chicken wings in front of you. You ate 2 of them and left 3 chicken wings untouched. The before and after concept is just a way of thinking about the situation in 3 parts. So using the previous situation as an example, we can split the scenario into three parts. The before situation where you started off with five yummy chicken wings, a change, in this case, you ate two chicken wings, and the after situation, where the number of chicken wings becomes different from what we had in the beginning. So that's it. That's the before and after concept. So now that you're clear what the before and after concept is, let's move on to see how to apply it to a math question. Okay? Now here's the question. Figo had $541 more than Gordon at first. After Figo bought a computer game, he had $98 less than Gordon. So what's the cost of the computer game? Let's practice identifying the before situation, the change, and the after situation. Alright? So I want all of you to think about this for a few seconds and see whether you can get this right. Are you ready for the answer? Figo had $541 more than Gordon at first. So this is what we have at the start. And this is the before situation that we are looking for. Then what's the change? Think about what caused the difference. Did I hear Figo bought a computer game? If you said that, great job at spotting that important piece of information. And finally, what happens in the after situation? As a result of the change, Figo had $98 less than Gordon. So do you manage to get all the three of them right? If you did, give yourself a great pat on the back. Well done! Now that we have a better idea of how to think of this math question in terms of three parts, we are going to look at this part by part and see how to go about solving the question. Okay? So firstly, we'll look at the before situation and draw the model for that to help us see what's going on better. So what do we have? Figo had $541 more than Gordon at first. So how many people do we have here? One, two. Two people, Figo and Gordon. We don't know how much money each of them had, but what we do know is that Figo started off having more money than Gordon. So let's think about how we are going to draw the model for this, okay? We are going to draw two rectangular boxes to represent the amount of money that Figo and Gordon had. And because Figo had more money, the rectangular box that we are going to draw for Figo must be longer than Gordon's, correct? And do you know how much is this difference? Figo had $541 more than Gordon. So this has to be 541 Great! Looks like we are done with the first part. Now let's move on to the change. After Figo bought a computer game, he had $98 less than Gordon. We know that a change happened because of what Figo did. Correct? He spent some money to buy a computer game. But do we know how much money he spent? Not really, right? So let's leave this for the time being and look at the after situation. As a result of buying his computer game, Figo had $98 less than Gordon. So how would we draw that in our model? Since Figo had lesser money than Gordon in the end, we know that his model must be shorter than Gordon's, correct? So let's draw a line somewhere over here. It doesn't really have to be accurate, but it definitely has to be shorter than what Gordon has. Understand so far? Now, are we missing any information from the model? Well, we know that Figo had $98 less than Gordon in the end. So this means that the difference over here must be 98. Following so far? Now let's look at the question again. Do you know what we are supposed to solve? What is the cost of the computer game? By looking at our model and comparing the amount that Figo had in the beginning and what he had in the end, are you able to find the part that shows the cost of the computer game? I'm sure you can, right? It's this part over here. So looking at the model, we know that if Figo spent $541, he would have the same amount of money left as Gordon, right? Since we are given that he has $98 less than Gordon in the end, this means that the amount of money that Figo spent must be this amount and another $98 more. Do you know how to find the cost of the computer game now? To do that, We'll simply add $98 to $541 
And that's how we get an answer of $639 as the cost of the computer gate. Problem solved.